the last time I visited California, went back home, did a whole the whole big toy hunt. Go check that out if you have it already. Um, and uh, me and Gary took a look at his Yu-Gi-Oh cards, his old Yu-Gi-Oh cards. That was a fun, fun time. Go check out that video if you haven't already too. Lots of videos to check out. We got Dark Magician SH Monster Arts. And the reason why I'm doing this video in particular is because I love Dark Magician. Growing up, I loved Yu-Gi-Oh. I had a bunch of the cards. Me and my brother would play the game. And uh, Dark Magician was always my favorite. I thought he was so cool. And he's still cool. Like, look at this. Look at this boy. Come on. Like, how could you not love him? Like, he's so cool. I love his outfit. I just love the way he looks. I love his staff. Like, every, like everything. I love everything about it. And um, I want this. This was just recently announced. Uh, and we are on the Tomashi Nation's website, I should say. This is the SH Monster Arts, the fourth installment in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Dual Monsters series. Yes, the fourth one, and we will take a look at the past three, um, if you don't know what the past three are. Yami Yugi's strongest servant, Dark Magician, has finally been summoned. Oh my goodness, oh, I love it, I love it. Look at the, oh my god, he looks so good. He looks so good. Oh my goodness, and I, I don't have a monster art of any kind. So this would be cool to have. So this this would be oh man, I want this. I gotta get this. I gotta get this sometime. I don't know if I'll be able to get it right away because October is a very big month for Toku. Oh my goodness, like there, this it's a lot of stuff. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, uh, with the background too. Oh, that's awesome. Oh man, he's so cool. Okay, so uh yeah, like, what was I saying? Uh, price. Let's just look at the price and everything. 11,000 yen. October 1st is when pre-orders opened. Okay, so they've been open for a couple of days now. Okay, I thought it, this just got announced like yesterday. I guess I was wrong. Anyways, still pretty new. Release date is March 2025. And this isn't like a premium Bandai or anything like that. So you can pick this up at the store, provided that the store carries these or if you're not in Japan you know middleman or any you know something like that just to take a look at the contents of the box because that's important right see I mean you know he's got the movable parts he's got the oh my goodness this ball effect was this black magical effects part that's cool so it comes with the main body of course it comes with four pairs of interchangeable hands two interchangeable face expressions oh really Oh yeah, he does. I just noticed that. Okay, he's got like the serious face. Right? And then he's got the other serious face. <laughs> With the open mouth. Interchangeable hair. Magician's rod. Black magical effect parts. A set of black magic circle effect parts. And dedicated stand. Okay, so it does come with a stand too. Oh, that's nice. That's nice of them. Wait, okay, so do you okay, so you get this thing too? This spell binding part, I guess. Is that I guess that's one of the what what does it say? Black magical effect parts and a set of black magic circle effect parts. Okay. I guess that's what this is. So it comes with two sets of hair? Where's the Oh okay, okay. So this huh oh, okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me get a Better, some better. Okay, so this one is like out. Like, this hair is out of his uh, uniform, I guess. And then there's one that's inside his uniform. Okay. Oh, this is nice. Okay, that's good to know. I love the paint on it. The paint looks immaculate, even on the staff, too. I'm not really familiar with Yu Gi Oh! nowadays. I know there's like, there's been like how many iterations of Yu Gi Oh! and there's like the one with the, the motorcycles, and then now there's like all these other new cards, like new, seems like complicated rules, to be honest. I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I can't really get into it now. I can't really, I, I, I just, I can't bring myself to like learn how to play now. Um, I just like the classic stuff. But speaking of classic stuff, um, let's just take a look at, like, past releases, just in case you don't know what the, those past releases are. Starting off with the Blue Eyes White Dragon. My friend, shoutouts to Gabe, he has this. I was actually there when he bought this. He came to Japan, 
and we found it at a store actually cheaper than msrp this is usually 14,300 yen i believe he got it for like a thousand ish yen cheaper or something like that um and it was brand new too so yeah he got he got lucky there but man it it looks nice it looks super nice look at that like look at the wings and everything man blue eyes is also just a classic obviously like probably one of the more if not the most iconic popular um dual monster in Yu-Gi-Oh! so i mean that's so cool this was released back in december of 2023 so uh you know you you might be able to find it in stores you just have to look around next one was the blue eye or <laughs> red eyes black dragon released in june of 2024 this is also really cool another one to go really well with the blue eyes white dragon if you have that super super nice super sleek design as well oh man it would be so cool to have all of these i wonder like i feel oh that's cool i like that effect piece oh that's nice that is so nice okay oh look at wow look at all look at all those stands that has that uh, that you needed to make them stand up oh that's cool man the poses you could do with these guys so cool um yeah i wonder you know because i feel like exodia would be a good one to do uh all the egyptian god cards like pfft, are you kidding me those would be dope those would be so dope um they also did the elemental hero flame wingman i remember this guy i remember gx i remember Yu Gi Oh gx G gx is like the last thing i watched and the last thing i would like really kept up with when it came to Yu Gi Oh. after that i kind of just fell off but man this guy is cool it's interesting that they did this one he's not really a classic per se but i mean classic enough this was released last year no oh no this isn't even wait release date october oh it's not even out yet okay it will be out very very soon this month okay i pfft, i don't know how to read dates apparently look at that that's cool so oh man he's cool really really oh look at that effect piece Ooh. I, re I remember the elemental heroes. There was like... I don't remember any of the names. There's the, there's the electric one. There's the, the girl. <laughs> Wasn't there like a bubble man or something? Something like that. Or <laughs> That's sick. Oh man. Wow. These are great. These are so cool. 13,000 yen. Let me know in the comments if you're getting any of these. But yeah, Dark Magician. I, God, I, I gotta get it. I gotta get it somehow. I, I will have to find this i want something to represent everything that i like and not not that i'm like super into Yu-Gi-Oh now or really into Yu-Gi-Oh now but like it was a huge part of my childhood and i would like to have something represent that in my collection so this would be immaculate looking in my collection <laughs> this would be amazing in my collection uh but yeah let me know in the comments if you're getting if you have any of these or if you're going to get any of these if you're interested or if you're not even a Yu-Gi-Oh fan and you're like, what the heck, Anthony? Uh, go go do Toku stuff. Okay, I will. Okay, okay, fine. I will. I will. But make sure you're subscribed. All right, that's that's the deal we got. All right, I do Toku stuff. You subscribe. So subscribe to the channel. Follow us on our social media down below. We also have a Discord. So make sure you focus the toys, collectibles, all that good stuff. And we will see you all next time.